Hi, I'm Sandy Sauter at the Culinary Institute of America at Copia. Welcome. We do classes here every single day on food and wine and beverage pairings with food and so on and so forth. So we have a lot of stuff to share with you. Hopefully you can come join us. But today I'm going to make a sweet pea soup with watercress and mint. So let's start on that. First thing I'm going to do is get a little bit of heat underneath my pan and add a little bit of butter. Everything's better with butter. I will add in some diced onion, some diced celery, and a little bit of scallions as well. This will be the base of the flavor of the soup itself. All right, the onions have gotten a little bit softer here. This is exactly what we're looking for, where they just soften, but they don't get color to them. And they just keep their nice, sweet flavor. And then I'm going to add the scallions in, get them to soften ever so slightly. So the potatoes are going to go in next. What I did here was after I diced them, I soaked them in some water to keep them from oxidizing. This will keep it from that brownish pink color that you get on them sometimes. All I'm going to do right now is just drain them off and then I'll be able to put them in the pot. And then add in my stock. You can use chicken stock, vegetable stock, whatever stock you like. Once it's at a simmer, I'll cover the pot and let those potatoes cook until they get nice and tender. But the next thing I'm going to add in now, this is a sweet pea soup, so let's go in with our peas. You can use nice, fresh peas that you've shucked yourself if you have a lot coming out of your garden or you found them at the farmer's market. But I have to say that this soup is really good with frozen peas as well. So you can cut out all that time. So I just want to stir them in so they start to get warm. I'm going to add my watercress in there as well. And some beautiful mint leaves on top of that. And I'll just stir it in so they get coated and warmed through. I'll put the lid on for about two minutes. Not much, I don't want to go any longer than that. I want to be really careful that my green leaves don't turn brown on me. So just to warm through, get those flavors infused, and then I'll go ahead and puree the soup. So I like to use the immersion blender because it gives a little bit more of a rustic style to it, and you can do it right in the pot and not dirty anything else. Definitely going to add some salt, some lemon juice. So I'll add a little bit of sugar to it and of course some lemon zest. All right, so let's bowl up our soup. Look at that beautiful color. And then we have mini options for garnishing. So one of the things that I like to do with soup, we got this nice creamy soup, is a nice crunchy crouton. These have just been fried in olive oil and tossed in a little bit of mint. So they're really, really pretty and really, really flavorful. A little bit of salt and pepper. And then of course we can add a little bit of our mint to that as well for a beautiful soup right there. And I actually have these lovely pea tendrils that look really lovely kind of coming out like they're growing right out of the soup itself. And we have some sugar snap peas that we just cut on a nice angle to be able to give a beautiful texture. There we have it. Sweet pea soup with watercress and mint and a couple of different variations that you can do for the garnish depending on what you can find or maybe what you have on hand already. 